is now free to sell on eBay. Come on, let's go for private sellers. Ooh, so I came in here to make a completely different video. There's already been about a dozen videos and Instagram posts about this, but eBay have dropped some massive, massive news. The biggest news since probably early in the year when they made free fees for private sellers for clothing. First of October today, starting Q4 officially, the last three months of the year, the busiest amount. We make the most sales, make the most fees for eBay and they dropped this message today. I actually found out about this news a week or two ago uh, to sign my life away to say, I wouldn't say anything. Keep them lips zipped, George, okay? But I can actually talk about it now because obviously it's out in the open. So it dropped today, half eight this morning, just as we was about to do the school run. eBay, changes to private seller fees and new benefits for business sellers. Oi. So if you just stumbled across this channel, haven't seen me before, basically, my name's George. My channel is Retro Reselling. My business is Retro Recycling. And I buy and sell mainly secondhand vintage items from places like boot sales, charity shops, auctions, wherever I can get it from. I buy it cheap, I sell it online for a profit. That's my business, full time since 2016. Pays for the mortgage, feed the kids, and all that stuff. And predominantly, I sell my stuff on eBay, obviously. And with eBay comes the fees, the shops, listing, promotions, everything like that. And I've always been a strong advocate, I think that's the word, for multi listing. Don't just sell on eBay, sell here, sell there create good competition and this is exactly why. I've been banging on about it for like, what, four, five years now about make sure you are listing on multiple platforms. Don't just rely on one because healthy competition is good. We want competition because it benefits us as sellers, as customers. I think this is exactly where this has come from, but we'll get to the email first. Changes to private seller fees and new benefits for business sellers. Hi, George. Hi. We wanted to let you know about some changes coming to private seller fees on eBay. The benefits to you as a valued business seller and new enhancements we're introducing for you and your business. So the headline, there's good stuff for private sellers and business sellers. So on Tuesday, 1st of October today, private sellers will not pay transaction fees when they sell items on ebay.co.uk. In addition, we'll be introducing new benefits for business sellers like enhanced protection against fraudulent returns and more access to one-to-one -to -one support to help you grow your business. So bang, there's the news. If you're a private seller, right? No more fees for selling stuff. If you sell something for 100 quid, I'm presuming you keep your 100 quid. Just like another certain platform that's making big, big noise. And I think the main reason why eBay is doing this. In fact, when I had my session on reviewing what they had to say, eBay and I had to keep my mouth shut, I did mention this. Like, basically, I said, because of Vinted, I'm guessing this is why it is. And basically, they agreed with me. So, yeah, Vinted is the reason mainly why this is happening, which is very, very interesting. Obviously, the keyword, private sellers. So private and business sellers. What is the difference on eBay? Basically, if you're a private seller, it should be for people selling your stuff. It's clearing your wardrobe, clearing whatever you've got, put it on eBay, you sell it, and you get to keep all that money. Obviously, being a private seller, it is yours. You haven't sold the stuff with the intention of making money, like profit on top. So if I've had this for ages and I just sell it and whatever money I make, that's what I've made. I keep the money. I don't have to pay eBay anything unless I've then promoted. As a business seller, you have to comply with a few regulations and laws. You have to obviously sign up with eBay with your business number, like self-employed, a number with HMRC. You have to accept returns. You have to show a business address, I believe and yeah there's a few other things and then you can just sell as you want making profit doing all that and you get fees back in the day i guess you have to say now say this time last year if you're a private or if you're a business you still got charged fees but private sellers were known for having lots and lots of benefits like a thousand free listings a month 90 percent of final value fees so it was pretty much this anyway but yeah loads and loads of offers dirt cheap to sell whereas business sellers uh, we might have got a couple, I think, in the past 12 months of offers like on cheaper postage, but I can't recall any offers on discounts, on like shop fees, on selling fees, anything like that. Because as a business seller, you have to pay per listing every single time, whereas a private seller, you get your thousand free a month, or you did have before this. So as a business seller, also I'm running my business, I'm making a good living since 2016 full time. So I've got to thank eBay for that, for the majority of it. But I have to pay a shop fee. So I pay, I've got the basic one, so that's like 30 quid a month. Then I've got a list per listing above 300 listings a month. Then I've got to pay for when I sell an item. There's then VAT on top, because they don't include that with the percentage, 12% or whatever it is, plus VAT. Then if I have promoted, that's like another two to whatever percent I promoted, plus VAT on that. 
plus a small transaction fee as well that they introduced earlier this year. Jeez, it gets very expensive selling as a business on eBay and not much in rewards like private sellers do. That's where the gripe comes in with business versus private sellers on eBay and this is only adding to that flame. Helping private sellers helps your business. So they've done a case study, back to the email. In Germany, we recently launched a similar free to sell program and a lot of new customers joined our marketplace to start selling. All those new customers didn't just sell, hundreds of thousands of them started buying and they ended up buying twice as much as buyers who don't sell. So in Germany, they've launched it. They've seen an influx of new sellers. Is that just people that were businesses? They've just opened a brand new private account and they started selling them there. Don't know if there's a way to catch that. But then this bit at the end, they ended up buying twice as much. So people selling on private eBay accounts ended up buying twice as much as buyers who didn't sell. Someone that's got an eBay account, they're gonna buy half as much as someone that's gonna sell there clearing their wardrobe, clearing their whatever else out. They're gonna buy double the amount of someone who doesn't, which is quite interesting. And 80% of the time, they were buying from you, business sellers. We believe this is going to drive more buyers to your business. So again, that threat of Vinted is screaming loud and clear here. The way that's worded, I'm thinking they're trying to get customers back from elsewhere. Because I even said to them on the call, when they were going through this email, I was giving my feedback, obviously, positive and negative. I'm not just being a yes man to eBay. Absolutely not. I was given my honest report and I even said people in my family, like close family, like my mum, my sister, they did attempt to sell on eBay, but they've actually gone elsewhere to Vinted. Surprise, surprise, because it's free. There's less faff, it's easier to sell and they keep all their money. Plus the other side of it as well with the postage. They just get the label. All you gotta do, you don't even have to print it off anymore. It's on your phone. Whack it in a nappy bag or whatever you want to do, shopping bag. Scan it at the lockers or in every shops and off it goes. It's quick, simple and you keep your money. So even with this change, I don't think it would actually encourage people that I know to go back to eBay because they've seen how easy and effective it can be elsewhere. So I think quite a big proportion of the damage has already been done. Also, there'll still be people that do come back, hopefully, because apparently they buy twice as much buy twice as much of my gear. So we've learned that private sellers are getting free stuff to sell. Free, free all around. But here is a new benefits for business sellers. We're also adding new features and services to support you, business sellers, all right? Better protection against fraudulent returns. We're dedicating additional customer support to address fraudulent returns more effectively, ensuring faster and simpler resolutions. I thought that's exactly what should be happening now, isn't it? getting protection against fraudulent returns. They say this all the time in their updates. So they should be doing that anyway. And that's, I don't think that's a new thing. You also get more credits for the cost of postage if a buyer falsely claims that an item is not as described. Again, I don't think that's a new thing. They've been doing that for a little while now. And I don't know when you get it because you'll randomly get them. If you look at your statement, there'll be like a little credit every now and then, but they don't actually tell us. So we're sort of relying on eBay to do that for us, which yeah. Not 100% sure on that one. And lastly, free one-on-one -on -one advice with seller clinics. Apparently this is the new thing. Just book a call and you can connect with a marketplace advisor for personalized advice on any topic related to your business. So instead of just, obviously, we know that customer service is available or the private live chat and that. If you go to like the eBay open or eBay sort of things that they put on, you can get one-on-one -on -one face to face advice. They can look at your account, give you advice and stuff. This is more that, so you can book a like a live chat, I'm guessing like Zoom or something like that. A marketplace advisor would then go through our stuff and give us um, hints and tips, I guess. Apparently this is the new thing and this is only for business sellers as well. That was the thing he did highlight. This isn't available to private sellers. So there we go, we got that. Might do a video on it, go through it, see what if I do learn anything new. If it does upturn my sales, maybe. Maybe it's worth it. And then, yep, that's about it. But if you are a business and you're gonna open a private account and then start selling on there, be aware they've taken more steps to address false private sellers. You can sell on a personal account if you're selling as a business, but as long as you're declaring your income to HMRC, paying your tax, who cares? You can do that. You just get the benefit of no fees. That sounds so attractive to me. Like just sell on a private account, free. I keep more of my money. I still declare it on my self-employed tax return and I pay my tax, job done. But if you are planning on doing that, I don't personally do it myself. I'm on a business account through and through and they're going to help business sellers using a private account to transition to a business account or restrict 
selling activity as necessary. In addition, we've reduced the number of free listings available to private sellers. So as before, when I said you get a thousand free listings a month, it's now gone down to 300. So I don't know if that's 300 next month, another 300 and another 300. So I don't know if you've, say you've listed your 300 items on your private account. Does that mean the next month you can't list anything unless anything sells? Or is that a fresh 300 listings instead of the relist? So I'm not sure about that one, but it has dropped from 1,000 to 300 to help combat this, I guess. Our goal is to continuously attract new customers and ensure they receive exceptional service. Learn more, click here. So yeah, that is the news, the massive update. The reseller world has gone crazy. It's all blown up everywhere. Stories here, YouTube lives here, videos here like this one. Yeah, it's massive, massive news. And not much has actually changed for us business sellers, which is why it's all kicking off. Obviously, we've got better protection for fraudulent returns. It should be in place anyway. It's in place anyway. One-on-one -on -one advice, seller clinics, which is the newer thing, but you could, I guess, phone or get a live call anyway. So sort of new, but worded different. So yeah, you know, take it with a pinch of salt, I guess. So I'm selling my stuff. We're selling on eBay, listing it on eBay. And this is aiming to get more sellers to sell their stuff. And then, oh, while I'm selling, I have a little look. Oh, I have a little buy. And they're gonna be buying double what someone else with just an account not selling would do. And I did go through with it with the eBay representative who I was on the call with, like basically our fees aren't going up right now anyway, as of the 1st of October, they're not going up at all. So shop fees aren't increasing, uh, fees aren't increasing to like cover this, to basically to pay for this or to cover this move for private sellers. The idea is to get more sellers to buy because when we sell as business sellers, eBay get more fees. So if they're gonna get more um, buyers, they get that fee and then hopefully grow from there. But yeah, Vinted has definitely shaken up the competition in a good way. Because if and when Vinted release Vinted Pro, because I'm not selling on there still on Vinted because I don't want to lose my account. With business, I've got to think of the long term. I could list on Vinted again. I'm on my, my last chance, basically. I've been <laughs> caught a couple of times trying to sell as a business, you know, naughty me trying to make money, eh? But um, <laughs> yeah, Vinted Pro is coming I hope very soon, because if they do release Vinted Pro, say this month, which would be a mega move, like Vinted Pro open, and it is free to sell on there as well, you're damn right, I'm listing, or taking all my listings, and then re-listing on Vinted as well, and we'll see where it goes from there. I've seen people make thousands a month and getting away with it still on Vinted, and I'm desperately, desperately wanting to join in. I'm this close to just joining in anyway, but I know long term, I need to be patient, sign up as my business, We'll go from there. I believe eBay have done this in reaction to Vinted. They're suddenly making massive noises the past year or so. It's just grown absolutely huge. This is eBay reacting, not getting ahead of themselves, putting this in place before like they're trying to play catch up. And yeah, I believe the next massive move is Vinted Pro opening and people like me with businesses like this starting to sell on there and then suddenly that eBay playing catch up again. Because why would I sell my vintage Christmas decorations on eBay and I get charged like, it's probably near 18, 20% now after the fees, the VAT, if I'm promoting, which I am most weeks. I could pay, say this sells for 20 quid, I lose 20% of that. Or I could ask 20 quid, 18 quid on Vinted and people have been getting mega, mega sales on there and I keep what I sell it for. But saying that, like I said before, I have to thank eBay for my small business. Without eBay, I couldn't have done this without needing another job, basically. So yeah, massively, I do appreciate eBay. I do love eBay. Of course, I'm listing on eBay right now. I've literally got stuff ready to list today because there is that marketplace. And that's why I think I am happy to pay a fee. They are getting expensive, like, like I said, near 18, 20%, and they are pushing promoted listings and advertising like hell, like crazy, which only just makes my profit margins get slimmer and slimmer. The fees, um, they're opening up the door to millions of buyers, potential buyers for my secondhand tap or quality merchandise. So for that, I'm happy to pay a fee, but obviously there is its limits. And now there is competition offering more attractive, more beneficial benefits to me and my business. So it feels, yeah, happy to pay it because obviously if I had a shop, I'd have business rates, bills, all that sort of stuff. So I'm happy to pay my way for eBay but they got to get the balance right. By the moment, it really does feel like more fees, more fees, more regulation with the EU thing coming on. And that's not eBay's fault, but it's just another headache to get around. Having to promote and then promote again and then advertise and then do this and item specifics and this and that. Yeah, eBay, love it, but 
they do have to watch their backs, I think. And with this sort of news coming out and if Vinted Pro comes out, then it'll be interesting to see the war of the marketplaces and where it's going to go.